Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Joe Stanley. Today we are going to be discussing about Chromebook and Windows laptop. All right, there are so many features on your Chromebook, which actually um, every student will love or travelers. And then for programmers, um, actually a Windows laptop is actually for a commercial purpose anyway. And it's also very easy to use. But if you are very used um, to mobile devices and you love your Android devices, I would refer you to Chromebook because Chromebook um, actually takes up more of an Apple, uh, more of uh, an Android features. Or uh, actually, maybe the idea came from an Android features. As you can see, it can also make use of an APK application, which is actually an Android based application. So most Chromebook anyway uses um, Android application and not all like my laptop right now doesn't use an Android application. And then um, Google actually announced that they will be releasing an Android version, an Android application version for uh, Chromebook on the next update or so. We've been waiting for the update, it's not yet ready. So anyway, um, on this tutorial, we're going to discuss about um, Chromebook and your Windows laptop. All right, now I'm just going to swipe my screen to discuss more about your Chromebook. All right, on your Chromebook, um, it doesn't have a lot of space on it. And you can see that all, um, most of um, Chromebook application have at least um, minimum of nine gig, which actually my laptop do have minimum of nine gig. And although it has an external space, which you can actually upgrade and make use of uh, a bigger space. And you should know it, it also makes use of um, a micro SD memory card, which is actually made for your Android devices or your um, external um, Android memory cards. And then for your Windows, which actually have a lot of space in it, it contains a lot of file and also easy to use. And a minimum um, Windows laptop have at least 500 gigabytes on it. You can see the difference that it's a very big space and big enough for you to use to do anything, either for work, store your file, back up your system, and then everything. But uh, in the same field, you can also do that on your um, Chromebook, but you just have to be online to upload your application on your Google Drive. So it will be safe and actually you can still do the same on your Windows. So actually, um, just to round up this, um, just to round up this saying, we should say uh, Chromebook is meant for students, not for um, commercial purpose for work and um, doing other flexible application. All right. While we go ahead, I'm still going to prove that to you. Now, this is a Chromebook document, which is actually um, a document. You can notice that once you want to make use of a Chromebook, you have to open the URL of docs.google.com and then you can access your document. But the um, the use of this Chromebook document is that it's actually online. You can make use of it offline. So it's only run online. Now, it's also very interesting. It has all the features you want, varying from typing. It's very easy to type and then very light, just like the default um, Microsoft application also. It's a very friendly interface you can make use of if you've worked on typing applications. And then for your Windows, which actually runs on offline, you, you it gives you more privilege to work offline. And then for or this commercial purpose, you can make use of this application offline. Most times when you don't have enough, when you don't have data on your laptop, you can just open the application up and then make use of it. Unlike um, Chromebook where you have to be online to make use of the application. But the difference now is your application stores on your hard um, disk. You don't have to go online to retrieve or edit your application. So um, I do say that this is very easy and most preferable for commercial purpose and then for um, Chromebook, uh, if you're a student, you would want to save your um, your documents or your work online so in order to be safe. But I do prefer making use of Windows to type my documents so I'll easily retrieve it for printing or um, saving into the hard drive. It's easier to make use of and edit on the go. All right. And then the next one for gaming, for gamers, okay. You should know that uh, if you want to play a very light game or all the mobile games you have on your um, Android phones, you can actually play the same game on your Chromebook. It's fun, right? 
yes it is but the different in this is it actually gets you to it actually enables you to download all your android applications and it it's very faster and doesn't hang just like it does on the phone it's very easy and it gives you more freedom to explore the game and to enjoy the game in the fullest so uh for all users that love to make use of their android phone to play game i think this is a breakthrough for you guys you guys should just throw your handset away or your smartphones away and then get a chromebook and play your game you did enjoy a lot all right then for hardcore gamers people that love a lot of graphics a lot of um a lot of details in their games and uh, you can't you can't play a game like this on your chromebook because it's just going to hang the system because it doesn't have enough space to contain it the processor is not going to work it's not suitable enough but for your windows you can run actually any game on your windows depending on the configuration anyway so once your processor um once your um you have a, a, enough um a very good um configuration on your windows you'll be able to play and install any graphical game if you want either um higher 4d 3d or any games of your choice you could play them on your windows and you will have fun you will enjoy your game more than um a mere chromebook games because they are actually more um light and it doesn't contain a lot of graphics so it's 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 very easy to play light games on your chromebook but for advanced gamers who love hardcore gaming i think you guys should go for windows and then for your graphical softwares uh there are more or less um uh, applications to there are more applications to use on your windows vary from your um core um from your photoshop your um adobe photoshop your adobe um elements and the rest there are so many um graphical software to make use of on your windows which the options are vast and you'll be able to make use of your photo manipulation tools very easy and very effective for anyone who wants to work on graphical software which is actually photographers or um graphical graphic designers they would enjoy using a windows laptop all right then for your chromebook chromebook is actually limited to more or less two strong application you can make use of in editing photos which is actually um a default application that comes with google and your pixel r and also it it also included um they also included a photoshop on their features but with your photoshop you have to run online and which actually makes your work easier but there is a lot of different because you you won't get all the features which you are looking for which you will get for uh, making use of windows you will actually be limited and if you notice that the pictures are different this one comes with less detailed picture and it doesn't look all that clear while this one looks very good and very simple you can actually manipulate with different option you can notice in the option right here that you can you could actually make use of any other option apart from the default one and then on this one it's not really that um fast it has less features compared to um windows so for photo sh photo um um photo manipulators and photographers actually and um graphical designers i would do prefer you guys to make use of windows if you're going for a laptop and then that does it anyway for your device um protection you will have um windows um windows antivirus and to protect your system which actually um notifies you whenever there is a virus and also uh for um a very for a, a record purpose uh windows defender is not all that effective in defending your laptop against virus so uh, i do prefer you guys to look over this and ask some questions to other guys and most of all your applications doesn't cover up everything so you should be aware of this and for your chromebook it's actually very strong and it protects your system automatically for you against virus and uh, malware that are coming to your system all right to run this up i'm actually going to show you a chart which actually clears everything out for your interface i will give a credit to um chrome and then for your um Croton versus um 